Alrighty, we have from 1988, this is a Panasonic VHS camcorder, model number is PV460D. I just acquired this for a steal, basically, very little money. The neat thing about this particular model is it was the first to include, as far as I'm aware, it was the first to include any kind of image stabilization system. And if you can see, you know, take a look at my hand here, it is a big unit. Very large lens on this side, and the lens actually has two elements. There's an inner portion and then an outer glass screen. It's a VHS camcorder, takes full-size VHS tapes, and it is in absolutely mint condition. Very little signs of wear. I have the original AC adapter, which also has little to no sign of wear. And the two batteries I already had, one of them is in the camcorder, the other one's on the charging base. And... There is the picture that we're currently getting. Over here on the side, since this doesn't have an exterior switch for any kind of focusing or zooming, you've got a dial for your manual focus control, which comes in handy. It actually works very smoothly. And then on the control panel here, you have your typical fade button, which you have to hold in until the picture fades completely to black. The sound does not fade on this model, only the picture. And then, of course, you have your backlight function here as well. One press for on, one press for off, or you might actually hold it on this model. You have a high-speed shutter. And then another neat thing about this one is an electronic macro control. Macro is actually automatic on this model, so when you turn it on and put something up close, it focuses for you. You have focus zones as well, which is a small square and a large square in the center of the screen, then auto manual focusing, and you have automatic white balance, and you can fix it for interior in-home lighting or sunlight. Then the neatest thing about this particular model is the electronic image stabilization system. This one actually uses micro motors that keep the center lens element, the actual imaging device, level. And it's pretty awesome. It has two different levels here, one and two. When you touch it once, you can hear it initialize a motor on the inside. And then watch this. Can you see that moving around in there? And this is as I tilt the camcorder on its tripod. It actually follows the center point of focus to reduce shake. The first mode is good for panning from left to right. The second mode is a little bit more heavy duty in that it actually erases your walking. If you're walking with the camcorder and your body is naturally bouncing up and down a little bit, it actually erases that pretty darn well. And you see as I move the camera around, that center element moves. It actually tracks the center of the picture. And it does this perfectly silently. I'm not sure if it's a magnetic system or how it functions, but there is no noise. Here, I'll actually move it around again here. There is no noise as this thing functions. And as you see, there is a delay. As I move this around, there's actually a delay, and it's, it's smoother. And I'm going to turn on the macro mode for close-ups. 
And if you look carefully, I'm going to tilt the unit back a little bit. It also keeps an eye on whatever you're looking at up close. So that is pretty awesome. I'm going to turn it off and you'll see it go back to center like that. There was a motor noise as it de-initialized the system. I have taken this outside and done some filming with it as, you know, I walk around my yard and it is it's a pretty awesome system. It keeps the um silently but effectively keeps the bounce and shake out of the video. Down here you have record review, which when you press that, it rewinds about three seconds and plays the tape for you. It also has the VHS indexing system. You can press index anytime to mark the tape. So when you play back in a VCR with index search, you can find fast forward automatically to a stopping point. Then you have the uh, counter controls and the clock date and time setting. Then of course you also have your little tiny, I think it's a two thirds of an inch CRT viewfinder. Very clean. There was no dust in there. Usually when I get these, they are full of dust. This one was manufactured August of 1988. The microphone foam, like all of these, was disintegrated when I got it, so I tore it off and made it cleaner so there's no microphone dust everywhere. I'm going to turn this unit a little bit. We'll look at the rear side. On the back here, you have where the AC adapter, the AV adapter as well, because it sends the video signal in and out, is connected. You have tracking, electronic tracking control buttons. You have an edit switch. You can turn that on to gain just a little bit. I would like to say it's a little bit of picture sharpness, so if you're going to copy this to another tape, it's going to output it just a little bit sharper looking. I'm not entirely sure what it does. And on my tripod here... Twist it all the way around to the tape compartment side. And you can see there is, there's one little scratch here, but this thing is mint. Very little use, obviously. Up here you have the zoom switch, wide and telephoto. It's electronic, two speed. The record start and stop. You have an external mic input. And then, of course, you're back around to that awesome lens side over here. Now, this particular camcorder uses the same tape mechanism as Panasonic's full-size VHS VCRs. I think it's called the G mechanism. Either that or the G, the G or the K mechanism. It's the Panasonic mechanism that uses the uh, capstan motor to move the cassette mechanism as well through action of a solenoid. Very, very clean in here. I went ahead and cleaned it again, and you see the um, pinch roller cam, the elevator cam assembly over there. I thought it was interesting that a camcorder would have that because that requires a little extra height or depth in the mechanism in some cases to fit that in there. But yeah, this is the uh, same mechanism that you find in a lot of Panasonic VCRs from the same time period. Those who know what it's like is the one, it's the one that makes all the clicking noises <laughs> as it goes from one function to another. But yeah, this is the 1988 Panasonic PV460D with electronic image stabilization, which, gonna get another close up of this lens, is pretty darn cool. You can see back in there, there's a ball that the lens pivots on. And let me turn it on, reach around here and turn it on again. If I can find the switch. And it just moves with you. Pretty darn cool. can hear the little bit of a motor noise when it deactivates.
Then of course up here on the top, you've got power, standby, which puts it in a low power mode, Dis deactivates the cassette mechanism as well. And then over here, if you slide this control panel, it turns off the camera mode and turns it into a full featured VCR. You can do audio dubbing and video dubbing, rewind, play, fast forward, pause, and stop. All the normal VCR controls. And yeah. So, pretty awesome unit. I'm glad I found this thing. I know a lot of people are going to have the argument that our cell phones do the same thing, smaller and better, but... Some of us folks that grew up with this stuff still like to keep it around, so. But yeah, 1988 Panasonic PV 460D. Got a 10 to 1 power zoom with automatic macro, flying a race head for seamless editing. Editing. It's got the audio and video dubbing, auto date and time. The automatic puts the date and time the first time you record each day, it'll record it for a little while. VHS index address search systems, linear motor autofocus, full automatic white balance control, automatic iris, electronic viewfinder, instant playback, edit switch, and fade control. And of course, on the sticker here, official sponsor of 1988 US Olympic team. And there you have it.